Hey, good morning, guys. So, we have a super wet day. Look at the skies. We have thunderstorms the whole week, but what I'm gonna attempt to do today is, I'm gonna do this lawn right here. And this is a sunny blue lawn. And I'm going to uh, mow front and back. And I'm gonna give you guys a couple of tips on, you know, how to, mow, how to mow wet grass and not leave a mess. So, let me turn this off. Yeah, so I'm gonna give you guys a couple of tips on how to mow wet grass um, at, at a pretty nice property and don't leave a mess because the reality is you have to minimize the concrete staining you have to minimize um, just leaving a mess and the reality is you have to leave a beautiful finished product okay so if you guys have any tips additional tips please leave them in the comment section so we can uh, share with each other and uh, yeah yeah it's gonna be a pretty challenging day but that's what it's all about right you have to meet challenges challenges yeah <laughs> it is what it is it's too early guys and you can have my coffee yet hold on <laughs> this is my cujo cup thanks cujo <laughs> all right let's get hot So when mowing wet turf, the first thing you want to do is once you get to the property is walk the property. Why is that? Because you want to ensure that you can put a mower on the property without making ruts, without making brown lines without destroying your customer's terrain. So walk that property first, ensure that you can put this heavy mower on that property, and then if you can, you can go ahead and mow it with the big mower. Now, if it's too soggy, then you're gonna have to probably, most likely, push mow this property if you don't wanna wait until the next day. Another tip is when you are mowing, and this you should be doing all the time, do not run your mower tires on the edge of the turf. Okay, you know where the turf meets the sidewalk? Don't put your mower on that edge because what you're going to be doing is you're going to be smushing all that dirty water um, and you also have to remember that you have sprinklers another tip is when you're trimming and you're edging the sidewalk and driveway always use your string trimmer why is that? Because if you use a blade edger, you're gonna kick up mud, dirt, and all that debris is gonna go on your white cement, which will stain the concrete. And even if it doesn't stain it, it's gonna look like crap when you finish. And a blower is not gonna clean it. 
So again, if you're trying to actually mow this property today and not wait, then I would highly, highly suggest that you not that do you, you do not use a stick edger with a blade and you use your string trimmer. As a matter of fact, I'm using the baller string in this video and I'm, I'm finding it to be uh, very durable. Um, it's, it's, it's working better to me anyway than the twisted line. It's lasting a lot longer. And this is the uh, 0 .05, 0 0.095. So again, link in the video description if you want to try it out but yeah as you can tell I'm not stopping I'm not bumping the head and I still have enough string so yeah another tip that I do is and I do this when it's real early in the morning and I have that morning dew and I don't want all that moisture and water to kind of get under the deck and you know make clumps is I will take the blower and blow the dew off just kind of hit it so that you can go into the ground and not stand on the tip of the blades that I'm cutting and I've found it to uh, work pretty good pretty well um, but yeah, it's, it is a little bit time consuming, but it works. Okay, so you guys can probably try that um, in order not to leave a mess. So take the time and leave a tip for others to read on how can we maintain our customers' properties or our homeowners' property as well when uh, the turf is wet and we have no other choice but to mow it. But we also wanna leave an awesome, awesome finished product. Thanks for taking the time to watch my videos, guys. Enjoy the rest as I blow. See you on the next one. Pop smoke. Peace.